why narcissists block you and what you do. The narcissist wants to charm you. They want you to be under their spell so that they can control you. But if you don't fall for it, they will see you as a threat because to be around them you have to be subservient. You have to obey them unquestioningly. You have to see yourself as less important. You have to serve as a means to an end. Because the narcissist cannot imagine a relationship that is based on anything else. Your purpose is to validate the illusions of their false self, to feed their ego. You serve no purpose other than that. So if you don't do that, they may block you. They may also block you to beat you to the punch, to get you before you get them, or to prevent you from ignoring them and moving on. Blocking you gives them full control over the situation. A narcissist desire control. They can't function without it. When they block you, they will assume that you are suffering without them. They will assume that you are unable to move on. They will block you when they feel like they no longer have a use for you. When they feel like you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation. But what they're actually doing is they're just putting you on the shelf. Because they may need you again at a later date. Which is why they will often come back to hoover you. When the narcissist blocks you. It really has nothing to do with you as a person. So please don't take it personally. Don't see it as though there is something wrong with you. Everything they do is the result of their own insecurities. They block you because they feel insecure. And they're trying to regain their control. They are very sensitive to criticism. They're easily hurt and offended. And at some point they may have perceived that you had mistreated them. They see their feelings as facts. If they feel hurt, they will believe that you have done something to cause them to feel that way. And then they will cut you off as a way of punishing you. And it also makes them feel better about themselves. Even though you may not have done anything to them. They may just see you as a threat to their authority because you ignored them. Or maybe you questioned or confronted them. Narcissists don't like to be confronted or ignored. They see it as rejection. And rejection is the worst thing a narcissist can experience. It's something they cannot accept. Instead of accepting it, they will remove you from their lives. And they will tell themselves that you are the problem. They will devalue and degrade you. Because it inflates their ego. It makes them feel important because now they see themselves as being superior to you. Once they have put you beneath them. Which is why they want you to feel bad. They want you to feel inadequate. They want you to feel unimportant. As though you lost the best thing that happened to you. Because in their minds they are the best thing since sliced bread. But in reality. 
The best thing they could ever do is block you. The best thing they could ever do is cut you out of their life. The narcissist will block you to make you feel worthless and unimportant. It's a manipulation tactic to make you want to do more for them, to make you want to cater to their needs. And when they block you, they will label you as the problem. They will point out your flaws. They will look for flaws in anything you've said to them to paint a picture of you in a bad light. They will twist the truth to discredit you and invalidate your reality. They will bring up things from the past, even things that happened before you met them but it's only because they know you're not susceptible to their revelation and lies. Because you're unable to forgive them or tolerate their behavior, which is why they will twist it and put the blame on you. They will act like you don't care about them because you refuse to cater to their endless unrealistic demands. When you refuse to do something for them, they feel like they're losing control and they can't function without control. So they block you and leave you without any closure, without any explanation for their behavior, which makes you wonder what you did wrong. And it may make you want to return to them because it will leave you seeking answers, which is exactly what they want because then you will be following their lead. It will feed their ego and they can feel like they have you wrapped around their thumb again. Which is why when they block you, you have to act like you don't care. Don't respond the way they want you to respond. Ignore them just like they're ignoring you. And in time, they will come back. They will unblock you. But when they do that, you should not contact them first. Let them come to you. Don't waste your time chasing the narcissist because that's exactly what they want you to do. If they contact you, you shouldn't even respond. But if you do respond, you need to act like you're not even surprised or worried that they left. You need to act like you didn't even notice they were gone. As though you were busy with other things. As though you have more important things going on in your life. You need to show them that you're unbothered. Because then they will realize that their tactics don't work. And then they won't try that move again. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.